perfected bodies. All over the planet there was a feeling of being loved, a sense of perfect well-being. Everywhere I looked there were children engaged in all kinds of activities. I saw a child learning the Word of God and being taught music from a golden book. I was surprised to see the animals of all sorts coming up to the children or sitting beside them while they were in this angelic school. Jesus gave me the interpretation of my vision and gave me greater clarity about what will happen then. Soon I will return and take back with me to heaven the righteous dead first. Then after them, those who are alive and remain will be caught up to be with me in the air. Following that, the Antichrist will reign upon the earth for an appointed time, and there will be tribulations such as there has never been before, nor will ever be again. And then I will return with my saints, and Satan will be cast into the bottomless pit, where he will remain for a thousand years. During that thousand years, I will reign over the earth from Jerusalem. When the millennium is past, Satan will be released for a season and I will defeat him by the brightness of my coming. The old earth will pass away. Behold, there shall be a new earth and a new Jerusalem coming down upon it, and I will reign forever and ever. Chapter 13, The Return of Christ In another vision I saw the coming of the Lord. I heard his call like the sound of a trumpet and the voice of an archangel. The whole earth shook, and out of the graves came the righteous dead to meet their Lord in the air. For what seemed like hours I heard the trumpets blaring. The earth and the sea gave up their dead. The Lord Jesus Christ stood atop the clouds and vestments of fire and beheld the glorious scene. I heard the sound of trumpets again. As I watched, those who were alive and remained on the earth ascended to meet them. I saw the redeemed as millions of points of light converging on a gathering place in the sky. There the angels gave them robes of purest white. There was great rejoicing. It was the angels' responsibility to serve, and they were everywhere, giving special attention to the risen ones. New glorified bodies were given to the redeemed, and they were transformed as they passed through the air. Millions were gathered before the throne, and I saw angels as they brought the books from which judgment was read. There was the mercy seat, and rewards were given to many. Then, as I watched in astonishment, darkness covered the face of the earth, and demon forces went everywhere. Countless evil spirits were loosed from their prison and spilled forth onto the earth. I saw an angry beast, and he poured his venom upon all the earth. Hell shook in his fury, and from a bottomless pit came swarming hordes of evil creatures, to blacken the earth with their vast numbers. Men and women ran crying into the hills, the caves and the mountains, and there were wars upon the earth, and famine and death. An angel announced, Hear, O earth, the king is coming. Then the king of kings and lord of lords appeared in the sky. With him in glorious splendor were the saints of all ages, clad in purest white. Then the angels put in their sickles and harvested the ripened grain which is the end of the world. I thought, we must love one another, for surely the king is coming. Chapter 14, The Lord's Final Plea, Be Ready. From the depths of my heart, I have shared with you many of the visions and revelations of heaven that were given to me by the power of God Almighty. I want to sum up my thoughts by expressing how much God loves us he has shown us his care and great love by sending forth his mighty word to us and granting us revelations in these last days. Dear children, we must be ready to meet the Lord. We must at all times be looking for his coming. You and I know the troubles, the times, and the season we are in. There has never been an era like this. With all my heart, I urge you to be ready. Jesus Christ is coming back. Do you remember how I talked about the saints who are in heaven? The angel of the God told me that if we live righteously in Jesus Christ, we will meet our loved ones at the gates of glory as we go in. I talked about the books and records that angels keep. Everything we do for Jesus' sake is recorded, and our rewards are going to be much greater in heaven than they are on earth. 
angels write down our deeds. I want you to be ready. If you have never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you can be saved according to the scriptures. Please pray this prayer right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come to you just as I am. I am a sinner. Lord, I have sinned against you and against heaven. I ask you, Lord Jesus, to forgive me and to come into my heart and save my soul. Let me be born again by the Spirit of the living God. I give my life to you, Lord Jesus. I do believe that you are the Son of God. I believe you are Jesus Christ, who was sent to save my soul from hell. I want to give you thanks and praise and honor for redeeming me by your precious blood. If you have prayed this prayer with me and really believed in what you prayed, you are now saved. You have asked Jesus Christ into your heart. Begin to confess to him with your lips and praise him. To God be all praise and honor.